And then you, you from Cadre, you had a chance. You went back and deployed again, but you went to Thailand. And what were you doing, teaching the Thai SEALs? We took, uh, trained the Thai SEALs. I was along with uh, Dick Flanagan, and one of the finest officers, as Tom Boyhan was, a great officer, great leader. And Al was with us on that, and that's the reason why Al and I were so close. Okay. And uh, we trained the uh, Thai UDT and the SEAL Team Tactics, and then they went up and they worked off the borders. So that's all I can say about that. Yeah, and and understood. And then you got home from that, and now it looked like the war in Vietnam was kind of winding down, and there weren't full SEAL platoons deploying anymore. No more SEAL platoons. Only basically what we were doing over, uh, we were sending uh, enlisted LDNN advisors and uh, like uh, a bunch of the guys that were over there with me on that tour was. Uh, it was at the reunion, and uh, it was kind of funny to get together and, and talk with all of them, you know, and talk about. Uh, but we've lost a lot of those guys, which have passed in through age or cancer or something, and you know, uh, it's, just, it's you know, one great thing about the reunion. You know, none of us are getting any damn younger, so you better get out and see your shipmates anytime you get a chance. So, yeah, um, the LDNN you mentioned, and just to everyone knows what that is, those are like Vietnamese, South uh, Vietnamese seals. Seals. And the LDNN stands for Lui Nen Dai, is what it actually in Vietnamese. What does that mean? Like a warrior from the sea or something yeah, yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah, it's type, yep. Yeah. Uh, so you get a chance to go back again, and this is funny because typical seal. You know, it's like, oh, we need you to go back on deployment again. Yes, I'll go. He yeah. sent me. Uh, I'm going back to the book. So when I got to Vietnam this time, I spent close to a week at Na Trang working with the LDNNs there, getting a feel for the what they were doing in the field. I'd worked with the Vietnamese SEALs on my first tour back in 1969, I, and I saw a few familiar faces. You have to hand it to those guys. For them, there were no combat rotations. Life was combat, 24-7, year in, year out. They fought until they were killed. Or, as it worked out in the end, we lost the war. So those are the guys you're working with. And um, I think it's, I mean, you get into the relationship that you formed with these guys, which was, you know, they were all their brothers. Yeah, they were. you took care of them, they took care of you. And, of course, the reason I feel that Tommy and I are still alive today is because of Dane and Quan, which I explained in the book. They were... I'd worked with them on previous chores and many operations, and uh, they were there. They're just like one of us. I mean, they took care of me, so that's the reason I handpicked those two guys. That was Dang and Quan. Quan. Those were those were guys that you had worked with before. Yeah, uh, Vietnamese SEALs. Uh, 